Hello again! So as you may have guessed from the continued appearances of the Loki kid, I'm going to talk about the Avengers some more. Oh, okay, I'm not going to talk about the Avengers movie. I'm going to talk a bit more about the prequel movies, because I have now seen them all recently. First of all, I still maintain that you can go and see the Avengers and completely enjoy it without having seen any of the movies before that. But I am now even more certain and talkative <laughs> about the fact that you should see the others anyway. Whether it's before or after, you should you need to see them. I think really the main one that you should see is probably Thor, which is also my favourite. Three guesses as to why. The other one that probably ties in the most with the Avengers is Captain America. And then in fact the ones that you've probably seen, or more likely to have seen, the two Iron Man ones are maybe the least tied in with the Avengers. And the Incredible Hulk as well is not really tied in much. People seem to neglect the Incredible Hulk film, but I liked it, so I'm not neglecting it, and Marvel don't neglect it. Marvel say it's part of it, so therefore it's part of it, because, as we all know, Marvel are the ones at the top of this tree who are organising it all. Do you like my organising? Jazz hands. Organising! So here are my 20 seconds on the Marvel prequel movies to the Avengers. The Incredible Hulk is a very good film. It really looks at the backstory of the Hulk, so if you're interested in that, then that's a good one. On the whole, pretty good film with a very good inevitable action sequence fight thing at the end. That was, that's an epic fight scene. Iron Man, pretty good film. I am a fan of Robert Downey Jr. I haven't met anyone who isn't, to be honest, but just thought I'd say that. Again, it's like an origin story, but it's it doesn't feel like an origin story and it's got a brilliant mix of like the action and the killing people and all of that stuff with humour, there's quite a lot of humour in it and I like that about it. Iron Man 2, again a very good film, they all are, I should just not bother saying that. Uh, it's my brother's favourite film out of the prequel ones but personally I think I possibly prefer the first Iron Man. Captain America, the first Avenger, I have to be honest it's not one of my favourite films. It's not one that I feel like I could watch it over and over again. But saying that, it's not one that I feel as though I never want to watch ever again. I would watch it again. In its favour, I feel as though maybe if I had been American, I would have appreciated it that little bit more. But being British, it's... Mm. And finally, Thor is just my favourite film at the minute. <laughs> um, I bought the DVD. It was in Tesco seven pound bargain and I feel like I could watch that one over and over and over again and it's a very very good movie and one of the things I love about it is the costumes because I love the fact that the Asgardians yes they look out of place on earth but they don't look madly out of place they look as though they're meant to look out of place I should just not talk and the capes were awesome of course nowhere near as awesome as mine no, mine is rubbish. I would love a proper cape. So they were my maybe roughly 20 seconds on the prequel movies. All I would like to say in conclusion is go and watch the hell out of the Avengers while you still can. That is my advice for the day. Goodbye. A bit more about the prequel movie. Play, 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 play.